In society, domestic violence is one of the worst crimes that can be perpetrated against a person, oftentimes stealing their sense of self-worth and it affecting them in very negative ways. Fortunately, in Polk County, we have Peace River Center Victim Services, which helps these victims deal with a lot of the things that are happening in their lives after the experiences that they go through. And with us today from Peace River Center Victim Services is Tanika Ellington, who is an economic justice advocate. Tanika, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Now, tell me a little bit about the different services that Peace River Center's Victim Services do for our community. Okay, um, we have outreach advocates. Um, those outreach advocates are available to attend court with our survivors if they um, desire accompaniment to court. Um, we also um, help with housing, employment, financial education components through the Economic Justice Program. We have a child welfare advocate who um, collaborates with DCF and um, makes referrals to us for people who have had um, so many calls that now DCF is saying you have to go in the shelter or the children are going to be removed or we would like you to seek these services um, outreach. And we also have an invest advocate who works with our clients who are of high lethality. Um, that means that um, they have had a weapon used against them, um, threatened um, their life, um, tried to kill them, made an attempt. Um, so that way they're considered more likelier than not to may um, be killed or um, badly injured. So um, we have an advocate that does that as well. And then we also have um, our shelter and survivors and their children. Um, men or women are allowed to come in. Um, we honor any type of um, relationship. It could be um, heterosexual, same sex, um, doesn't matter. We're here to serve the survivors or the victims. Um, and their children as well can come into shelter. Um, we have a short term program. It's six to eight weeks long. But with the economic empowerment component, we are able to extend their stay for a little bit longer to give them time to cycle through the program and um, start their small business or either um, seek education. I think that's so important that uh, you use the terminology survivor rather than victim. And I apologize for using victim that's earlier okay. because in a lot of ways, these are women and mm -hmm. men in some cases that mm -hmm. are, and children who are really surviving what they've had to go through and coming out on the other side uh, trying to be stronger for it. Right, and it's the new, it's new language so uh, we're trying to um, educate everybody that we're going from you know seeing the survivors as victims as opposed to survivors so it's new to people that are not in the work. Now if someone has gone through a situation like this how do they reach out to the Peace River Center Victim Services to take advantage of the services that you offer? Um, the first step would be to call our crisis line and that number is 863-413-2700. It's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Someone is always there to answer the crisis line. Um, we also accept um, collect calls because sometimes the survivors are arrested with the abuser. If it's been so many times that law enforcement has went out or if they are unable to determine the primary aggressor, you know, or sometimes the, um, the abuser has gotten a little bit smarter and say, okay, well, I'm going to put you in jail this time. And so they have the survivor arrested and so um, just to let them know that we are able to accept their collect calls and um, um, help them that way. Now once somebody reaches out to you through the uh, phone line, uh, what is the process after that? Um, when they call the crisis line, we first want to determine um, if they want shelter because sometimes they don't want shelter, they want to file for relocation. So that would mean that they had a safe place to stay, um, they don't need to come into shelter, and um, they just want to file for the victim's assistance um, relocation through the Attorney General's office, which a certified advocate has to do, and that would be us here at Peace River Center. Either um, our outreach advocate would handle it if it's someone who does not need shelter, 
if they are coming in the shelter, then our shelter advocates would take care of um, filing that claim for them. Um, if they did want to come in shelter, um, there are a series of questions that we have to ask to make sure that they meet criteria. And most importantly, we want to make sure that we're talking to the survivor and not the um, perpetrator or the abuser trying to get information on the program and trying to see if the survivor has sought benefits um, or assistance from us. And um, sometimes they just want to have um, group or um, outreach counseling. So we do have a um, support group that operates on Tuesdays by our outreach advocate. And that's at 1.30 at our um, outreach service center. And they would get that information by just calling um, the crisis line. And then sometimes they hear about the Allstate program and where they're a survivor. And with that program, they don't need to be a current um, survivor of domestic violence. It could have been something that happened 10, 15 years ago. Um, it has to be intimate partner while um, the other components doesn't have to be intimate partner. It can be um, blood relatives, someone you live with as a family unit, um, someone you're related to by marriage, or have a child in common together. But for the Allstate program, it has to be intimate partner um, domestic violence. And at that point, um, they would give them my information or take their information and I would return the call and let them know when the next classes would begin. Now, Obviously, this is a societal problem as far as abuse is concerned. How uh, many people came in for services at uh, the Peace River uh, Center for Victim Services last year? Last year, we had 178 people um, come through for services. And the majority of them uh, would gravitate towards a specific program, or just it was, in general, all the different services? In general, all the different services, collaboratively. Excellent. I was really interested in that economic freedoms program that you were talking about. Can you go into a little greater detail about that? Yes. Um, the economic freedom program is the Allstate Empowerment Program um, generally. Um, with that program, uh, the survivor is wanting to start a small business or either seek um, some type of education assistance. So that could be them wanting to become a CNA, a home health aide, um, anything $500 or less is what we fund. Now, we do have some survivors who have came through the program and they're already in college and they're in the last semester and they kind of need, you know, maybe some books. So we will still fund that as well. So it doesn't be, it doesn't mean that they can't um, already be in college and it's exceeding 500. That's just all that the grant funds is $500 for them to do that. Um, there's also the match savings component where if they save 500, we would match them 500. Um, now they don't have to save the entire 500, they can save up to. So if I was only able to save $200 and I wanted a match, then we could we'd go ahead and match them at that $200, but we wouldn't match it but once. So they could wait until they save the money or they could decide at two or three hundred, whatever, you know, um, they prefer and we would go ahead and match them then. Um, to get to that point, it's an eight week class. We meet once a week for two hours. During that class we talk about budgeting, we talk about career empowerment, we talk about safety planning, we talk about um, credit, and we talk about housing, stability, self-sufficiency, and we also prepare them um, to complete a business plan. Um, if they are going to the education um, component, then they'll do an educational plan. Like, um, how do you plan to be successful during this time that you're studying? Or um, if they're going into a business, you know, how, how, what is your plan? How do you plan to be successful in um, being your own boss? That's great. It's, uh always one of those things that anytime you can actually have the educational component in there, not mm -hmm. only with the financial, it just seems like that much of a greater opportunity for uh, there to be a great outcome. Exactly. Well, Tanika, thank you so much for coming out today and telling us uh, so much about the Peace River Center Victim Services. Uh, what you do is so important to our community, so thank you. Thank you again for having us. If you'd like to find out more about the amazing things that the Peace River Center Victim Services 
does for our community, including their Economic Freedoms Program, Allstate Economic Empowerment Program, and Pro-Literacy Adult Literacy Program, go to their website at peacereaver.com or if you're interested in the Economic Freedoms Program, Allstate Economics Empowerment Program, and the Pro-Literacy Adult Literacy Program, you can call 863-604-2349.